Like little cats? Well, the Minskin is just that. You want a mini cat? Get a Minskin. I think it's unique. I think it's cute. You have this almost pixie-ish, big-eared E.T. look around the face. The Minskin. It's an outgoing, new, exotic, and pretty rare miniature cat breed. They really are a petite cat, but they have these big, dazzling eyes. Cute, cuddly, and kitten-like forever. If you like kittens, this is the cat for you because they look like kittens their whole life. And while they may be little, they are big time lovable with people and other pets. Just because they're low in stature doesn't mean the Minskin has some kind of inferiority complex. This cat gets around with the best of them and they love being part of the family. As for the name, it kind of spells out just what the cat is. Min is for miniature legs, and skin is for that cool skin. If you just look at this cat, you can guess its ancestry. It all began in the Boston area, when a breeder crossed a few cats and got this new little breed. The Minskin is a munchkin and a sphinx, with a touch of Devon Rex and Burmese. Minskins are a low-shedding, pointed breed of cat with three different coat standards. The hairless, name says it all, has no hair on its body or very, very little. The fully coated has hair all over its body. And the fur points is hairless on its body except for the points of its feet, tail, and ears. The next physical feature that's interesting are the short legs. Even though they are miniature and their legs are compact, their back legs are still a little bit longer than their front legs. Think the Minskin's tail looks long? It is. What's really wild about the Minskin is that the tail can be longer than the body. The Minskin is a lovable kitty that's pretty healthy with no serious medical issues. As for grooming, they need it. The Minskin is either hairless or has very sparse hair. So they don't have a lot of fur to absorb the oil, so their skin gets very oily and then very dirty, so a weekly bath is gonna be necessary. And they make a good family pet. After all, they're everyone's friend. The Minskin not only gets along great with other cats and dogs, but also with people and especially children. So overall, the Minskin is a pretty healthy cat. You need to bathe them regularly to keep their skin clean and oil-free. I love the Singapore. It's the tiniest cat breed. They're tiny. They're cute cats, very similar to an Abyssinian. Way smaller than the average feline. In fact, full-grown adult females can weigh as little as four pounds. It's a powerful, assertive cat with a lot of personality. So don't just think of it as the little cat. They're lively, curious, and intelligent little animals that love to be right in the middle of the action. And it's not a kitten thing. They stay this way all their lives. The Singapores are known as pesky little people cats. They kind of get into whatever you're doing, reading a book, doing the computer. And they love to meow. As tiny and cute as they are, their voices tend to be very soft and very sweet. As far as where these kitties come from, well, there's some discrepancy. Some say here in the States, while others say the cats came from Singapore. No matter where they originated, we're happy to have them. It's believed that the Singapore may actually be a cross between the Burmese and the Abyssinian. And so it's the Singapore's tiny body that's, of course, their most outstanding trait. And this little guy's coat is quite impressive, too. The official name for the coloring um, of the Singapore is sepia agouti, which is a kind of like a, a light beige color. Pretty much all of them are that color. Today is a big day for Sumo and his sister, Kieta. These two lovable 14-week-old Singapore kittens are hitting the road for their new home in Northridge, California, where Lisa and Ruben Ruiz will become their new mommy and daddy. Your life is gonna change when you bring home kittens. The Ruizes are thrilled to have two new furry additions join their family. We've been waiting for you for a long time. Whoa! They're kind of like little wind-up toys that kind of don't stop. However, the couple had some reservations about taking in another cat, 
after losing their last after 14 and a half years. I really felt like I needed to mourn her loss and not feel like I was replacing her. But after several months, the Ruizes decided it was time to get another little friend. And so they started to do their homework. We really wanted an active breed, but also a cat that would um, sit on my lap. After going to a cat show, they decided on the Singapura. However, they didn't make plans to get just one. Two is always better than one. Excited like typical parents awaiting a newborn, the Ruizes were counting down the days till they could get their new kittens. The Singapores are pretty healthy and can live up to 15 years. However, because of their small size, they do have issues delivering. The Singapores often have to have a cesarean section to deliver their tiny little kittens. Keeping the Singapore looking good is easy. A good brushing twice a month and nail clipping are all you need. As for being a good family pet, they are because they have great personalities and love to be in the middle of the action. So in general, Singapores are pretty healthy. They don't need too much grooming and they make good family pets. When people say some animals are so ugly they're cute, they must be talking about the dwelf. They're like cats from Mars. People out there would look at a dwelf and say, oh my gosh, super cute, but also a little scary. You've got to love this breed to love the look of this breed. This odd looking breed's name is derived from its dwarf stature and elf-like features, resulting in the name dwelf. You see the cat makes perfect sense because they're a really small cat. <laughs> And like its hybrid name, this cat is a mix of breeds. The Munchkin, American Curl, and Sphinx were combined to give this cat its distinctive look. But it's the Sphinx lineage that provides the most prominent feature, its coat, or lack thereof. In fact, they're not strictly hairless. They've got like peach fuzz on them. It's said to feel like suede. And this cat has a very rare feature. While most cats have pointed ears, the Dwarf's ears are curled. Curly ears, you know, the elfish ears, after the mythical character, the elf, um, gives them that sort of comical appearance. The hallmark of all dwarf breeds is short legs. And like most dwarf cats, the dwarf's hind legs are slightly longer than the forelegs. The short legs in the dwarf come from the munchkin, that dwarfism, which gives them shorter legs and a longer body. And this low-lying cat is one tiny breed. An adult dwarf typically weighs four pounds, or just less than half the size of a standard cat. One of the really striking things about the uh, dwarf is they're not only small, they're very small. It's almost kitten-sized. There are some who say dwarfs have the personality of a dog, and that's just their way of saying that they're very social, they love interaction with people, so they really do make a lovely family pet. But this loving pet is not without controversy. Some question the ethics of breeding these petite felines. A good responsible breeder will do a very thorough screening of the breeding pair of the mother and father and breed them responsibly. And if they see they're getting a bad result, they will stop. As with any cat, you need to make sure that when you're choosing a dwarf that you, you find yourself a breeder who really considers the cat's health to be of utmost importance. Hi, Julie. How are you doing? Do you know what her name is? Yoda. What do you think? She looks different, and when the children lose their hair and are on steroids, they look a little different. You're making her feel real comfortable. And I just think maybe they might relate to it. She loves this. Well, receiving chemotherapy is a scary experience for Charlie. And she loves animals, so Yoda is perfect. Oh, she's giving herself a bath. She's a rare animal, and I want to take care of rare animals. Yoda's success as a therapy cat has given Susan a new outlook on life. So the Dwarf is a playful cat that can have spinal issues and needs to be kept out of the sun. Despite their odd looks, they make excellent family pets.